now we are going to start pancreas okay so uh, this is the anatomy of pancreas as you can see here this is pancreas here this is head of pancreas this is neck of pancreas and this is body and this is tail okay and here we have uncinate process okay the tail of pancreas lies in close relation to the spleen okay so tail of pancreas lies in close relation to the spleen and the neck of pancreas behind the neck of pancreas there is formation of portal vein okay so here there is splenic vein here there is smv so this is smv this is splenic vein they joins together to form portal vein behind the neck of pancreas so portal vein forms behind neck of pancreas okay and uh, another important question you can see here in uncinate process and for example this is uncinate process here there is superior mesenteric vein and artery so superior mesenteric vein is medial or more towards the head of pancreas or uncinate process and the superior mesenteric artery is lateral okay so here superior mesenteric vein is medial and is in close relation to uncinate process okay and then the superior mesenteric vein goes up joins the splenic vein and they forms together the portal vein that is behind the neck of pancreas here okay so this is important regarding the anatomy of pancreas okay these two points are very important this smv relation of uncinate process was asked in uh, neat 2020 okay so this is very important now uh, what is the most important arterial supply for pancreas so for to understand the arterial supply you will have to understand that uh, for example this is the head and uncinate process so the head and uncinate process is supplied by the pancreatic or duodenal arcade okay so head and uncinate process supplied by pancreatic duodenal arcade and body and tail is mainly supplied by the splenic artery okay so uh, you can see here this arteria pancreatica magna here is a branch of this splenic artery okay so arteria pancreatica magna is a branch of splenic artery and this arteria pancreatica magna is the main arterial supply to the pancreas overall so pancreas is mostly supplied by the splenic artery okay now regarding the head of pancreas you can see here there is one anterior arcade here and one posterior arcade here so the anterior arcade and posterior arcade they are mainly the communication between the celiac axis and sma okay regarding the foregut and midgut you can say d2 and proximal to d2 there is foregut and then uh, after d2 there is midgut okay so uh, this foregut is supplied by the branches from the celiac axis and this midgut is supplied by the branches from sma so what happens is uh, this sma gives and how we can remember it that anterior superior pancreatic duodenal posterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery and anterior inferior pancreatic duodenal and posterior inferior pancreatic duodenal these four arteries together 
form a complex loop of vessels that is along the head of pancreas okay so the branches the name of the branches are anterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery posterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery anterior inferior pancreatic duodenal artery and posterior inferior pancreatic duodenal artery okay now this is very easy to understand both of these inferior branches are actually the branches from sma you can see here from sma there is one branch here anteriorly one branch here posteriorly so these two branches are from the sma and this anterior superior pancreatic duodenal and posterior superior uh, pancreatic duodenal are actually from the gastro duodenal artery okay so this anterior superior and posterior superior are from gda or gastro duodenal artery okay now what happens is gastro duodenal artery it gives right gastro epiploic artery and then it terminates by giving by dividing into two branches that is anterior superior and posterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery okay so gastro duodenal artery gives right gastro epiploic and after that it terminates into these two superior pancreatic duodenal artery so the superior one are supplied by gda and the inferior one by sma so gda is actually a branch of common hepatic artery which gives hepatic artery proper and gda and the gda ultimately supplies the pancreas here yeah. okay so this is regarding the arterial supply very important from anatomy point of view and regarding the vein i have already told you behind the pancreas there is splenic vein and below the pancreas along with the uncinate process there is smv so this splenic vein and smv they joins behind the neck of pancreas to form a portal vein okay so uh, majority of the pancreas is drained by splenic vein and the uncinate process portion can be drained, uh, is drained by smv they joins together to form a portal vein okay and uh, regarding this uh, point what is this here visible this is actually the sphincter complex so the sphincter regarding the sphincter complex this is gall bladder this is bile duct this cbd and here we are having a pancreatic duct the cbd and pancreatic duct they joins together and then they dilate the junction dilates to form ampulla also known as ampulla of waiter and then this ampulla opens through a papilla into the duodenum that is d2 okay so here we are having sphincters here so there is a superior colidocal sphincter and inferior colidocal sphincter in the cbd there is one sphincter pancreaticus in the pancreatic duct and one sphincter ampulli at the level of ampulla so there was a question that was asked a few years back how many sphincters are there total in this ampullary structure so the total number of sphincters in sphincter of odi complex this is actually a sphincter of odi complex okay so total number of sphincters in the sphincter of odi complex is actually this colidocal sphincter is actually superior and inferior colidocal sphincters so total in total we have four number of sphincter total number of sphincters are four okay now another important point regarding the embryology so you can see here so this pancreas actually develops from two buds one is a ventral bud and another is the dorsal bud so majority of the head body and tail it develops from the dorsal bud and the part of head and uncinate process develops from the ventral bud okay 
तो फ्रॉम डॉर्सल बट डेवलप द पार्ट ऑफ हेड बॉडी एंड टेल एंड दिस पार्ट ऑफ हेड बॉडी एंड टेल विच यू कैन सी हेयर then there it is drained by the santorini duct into the minor papilla okay so the dorsal bud portion drains into the minor papilla by the minor duct or the duct of santorini and on the other hand the ventral bud from the ventral bud develops the part of head and uncinate process which ultimately drains via the main pancreatic duct mpd or the duct of virsang into the sphincter of odi okay so there was a question body of the pancreas or tail of the pancreas develops from which bud okay so that is dorsal bud head of pancreas develops from which bud both ventral and dorsal bud and uncinate process develops from ventral bud okay so this way they, there is questions from this topic now normally what happens is there is a patent accessory duct in 60% of the patient okay so they have a patent minor duct also which drains into the minor papilla and the major duct which drains into the mpd okay now what happens is in 10% of patients there is a separate dorsal duct and a separate ventral duct which you can see here in the diagram so if there is a separate dorsal duct and a separate ventral duct what happens is that from the majority of the pancreatic juices they are drained by the minor papilla which creates a relative outflow obstruction and which may lead to development of abdominal pain which is pancreatic type or pancreatitis also so this condition is the most common congenital anomaly of the pancreas and it is pancreas division okay